Hey guys, welcome to Construction Simulator 2015 with me, Bradham73. This is actually the second time I'm starting the game. Uh, the first time I started, it actually crashed out. Uh, I think that <laughs> I think it was because uh, I was tabbing back to the desktop um, to uh, make sure I was recording. Um, Construction Simulator 2015 is a game that's being published by uh, none other than Excalibur Publishing. And uh, if you want to give the game a try, uh, I will provide a link below. Uh, you can uh, pick it up from uh, directly from Excalibur Publishing. Um, it is actually being, I think the developer, the main developer is Welton Bauer, uh, down here to the bottom left. Uh, at least that's what it says on Excalibur's website. Um, I don't really know too much about what to expect other than we're going to be constructing things or building buildings maybe. Um, so this is my first time into the game. I just did uh, get this installed and so we need to press in a key to continue. New profile. Um, hello. Red M seven to three. Um. <laughs> uh, where we could go so many places with the company name. Um. <clears throat> Demolition Inc. Um. Let's see. Primary color. Kind of like that color. Or I could just be boring and go with yellow. Let's see. Player character. Hello, it's Hans. Uh, don't want to be the chick. I guess I'll be this guy that looks kind of closest to me. Um, all right, select profile. Start, I'm so scared. Oh, there's multiplayer in it. That's kind of cool. I'm so afraid. Oh, I hear birds. Wow, this is taking longer than to load than I had expected. I don't even know how the graphics are set up, guys. I just <laughs> I probably should have. Hello. At the train station in Wolfsheim. Um. Ah, there you are. You must be Bradham73. Why, yes, I am. It's nice to meet you. My name is Peter. But you can call me Pete. All right, Pete. Oh, hello Pete, thanks for picking me up at the station. I'm very, I'm very curious to see what is waiting for me here. Well, there's a lot of work waiting for us. I suggest we take our time and I show you everything before we get to work. That's the fastest way to learn. Okay, I'm looking forward to using the big machines. All in good time. First, we need to drive to the company's site. Do you see the little white flatbed truck over there? Why don't you get in and drive it to our premises? I'll show you the way on the map in the bottom left corner. Wow! I get to sit behind the steering wheel of a truck already? Yippee! Okay. <laughs> All right, so get in the white truck. Uh, this seems pretty cool so far. Oh gosh, hey, we're running around. Farkarton. Farkarton. I guess that's train ticket or something. I don't know. Um, the graphics look. Uh, I think this is being developed by Astragon, so the graphics actually look kind of similar in some ways, though much better. In garbage truck simulator, so not sure what they did different here, but uh, anyway, okay, F or Y on the gamepad. Oh my gosh, 
Now let's go. If you need help, you can display your key bindings with the question mark in the something. Oh, probably up here. Um, okay, so take a look at the map. Can I hit M? No, I guess not. Oh, so this is a man truck, not a woman truck. The game's volume seems pretty loud, um, at least in my, my headset, so hopefully for you guys it's not like overwhelmingly loud, because, let's see, options, master volume, let's just turn this down to about here. That might be a bit more manageable. And we are in a nice German, Austrian, Swiss maybe uh, village. It looks like there's a little castle or building up on top of the hill there. Um, so is this our lot across the street here? Okay, I'm gonna guess that this is where we're supposed to go. Home base village. The company premises are the central starting point for all of your contracts. Your vehicles are parked here when they are not in use. Additionally, when you reset your vehicles, they return here. All right, cool. Oh, I got 10 XP. There you are, park, park the truck anywhere and come over to me. Wait, aren't you with me? He teleported. Let's park the truck in this slot. Alright, um, how do I get out of the truck? F? Okay. Hey, what was he looking at? He's like, hey, I'm looking up at the truck. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed so far. Talk to Hap, Hape. I'm going to say his name is Hape. Or Happy. Happy. Do, 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 do. No. Uh, to the construction site. So here we are. This is our company site. Small but nice. Should, you, uh, should be enough for a start. Over there you can see our current fleet. We have two trucks, a small digger, and a matching trailer to transport it to the site. I'll show you later how the vehicles work in detail. All right. All right, I'm very excited. What do we start with? We were commissioned to create a feed for a cistern. We need a, uh, the small excavator for that. As it is not suitable for the road, we'll take it to the site on the trailer. You should carefully drive the truck to the trailer. Once you're in the right position, you can couple it, okay? All right, then let's hope that everything works out <laughs> and I don't crash the trailer. I hope we have a good insurance policy. <clears throat> um, yes, I hope for you too. One more tip. The current job status and your tasks will appear in the bar on the right side. If you click the icon of the specific task, I'll explain again briefly what you're supposed to do. So you should always know what to do. <clears throat> good to know. So I'll couple the trailer now. Keep your fingers crossed that everything works well. Okay. Yep, keep your fingers crossed. Um, okay, so this is the digger. This actually looks way better than dig it. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> if you know what dig it is or if you don't know, then, hey, the truck teleported over here. What is this big thing? I don't know what it is. It's like a bridge layer or something. All right. Uh, um, did the game just freeze? No, the game just froze. Oh, wait, no, it didn't. Oh, thank gosh. <laughs> it was like, it's going to crash. Uh, I don't know if that's going to come up on the screen, but I got a crash message, but it actually didn't crash. So it was like, this application has stopped responding. 
Oh, C to connect trailer. All right, before you drive off, you need to retract the support legs for the trailer. So left shift Q. Is that right? Left shift Q. Oh, you actually have to hold it down, okay. And it's this little thing right in the center. All right. So now on to the construction site. Outriggers need to be loaded. I don't know what that means. Okay. Take a right here and drive to the construction site. You shouldn't drive too fast with a loaded trailer. All right. Can I? I don't know if there's turn signals or what. All right. So I'm guessing. Okay, there you are. Park the trailer between the four orange pylons and come over to me. Okay, so I need to actually park the trailer in here. Okay. Okay, do I... Outriggers need to be lowered. So how do I lower those? Left shift Q. Left shift Z maybe? Uh, e? I don't know how to lower the outriggers. Let's look at options. E, okay, there we go. Um, well, I guess I can't, oh, left shift E maybe? Oh, there we go. All right, so that's down. And now I can disconnect it. Okay, cool. Oh, look, it uh, even makes a nice, um, got, we make some dirt tracks in here. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to get out of here, talk to Hape, or Happy. Uh, well, that went very well for now. Yes, it did. Of course it did. What did you expect? I'm not a beginner anymore. No, I play all these other games, right? Now take it slow this time, Brad M73. I will unload the excavator and then show you how to control it properly. All right. Oh, wow. That was fast. Get in the digger. Uh, okay. Um, look out. <laughs> what we have here is a small tracked excavator, unlike a truck. Here, you control the two tracks independently of one another. In each case, forwards and backwards. If you move one track forwards and the other backwards, the digger rotates. Okay, makes sense. And how do I use the shovel? Professionals call it bucket. To excavate the channel, you first have to switch from drive mode to operator mode. Then you can move the arm and bucket, as well as turn the cabin. Switch to operator operation mode to see which lever does what and dig out the channel. Okay. Drive? Okay, how do I drive ahead though? Oh, so it's... Okay, oh, this is different. I say, so Q is left track forward, A is left track back, E is right track forward, and D is right track back. Oh, okay, so that's kind of neat. So we got to go this way. Whoop, now change to excavator mode and try to dig out the earth, okay? Well, let me, um, 
Ah, no. No, no, no. Uh, why can't I move backwards now? Okay, so how do I switch to excavator mode? Um, well, we're going to have to see how to switch to excavator mode. Um, Because I don't know. Uh. Um. <laughs> I don't see uh, how, uh, anything that says how to switch to excavator mode. Did I change? Uh, let's see, show help, F1. Hmm. Okay. Um, where did, uh, let's see, is it up here? Tab backspace. Oh, okay, so tab. Oh, gosh, now we have all kinds of... Okay, there's that. Okay, there's that. Um, space, let's see. Um, this game is almost made for a gamepad. Uh, D and A is left and right. S and W are up and down. Left, oh, okay, so... Ah! Whoa, this is gonna be... This is gonna be pretty tough. So I wanna actually move forward a little bit. Oh, okay. Hit tab to exit this mode. And... Oh, um... Okay, so go up here. Okay, I think I can turn this stuff off now. And... Whoa! It's a little bit difficult to uh, control, but it's not too bad. Oh. Uh... what I do... Um... Did I break my machine or what? Uh. Um, it seems like I've lost. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Oh, gosh. Okay, well, I can't really do anything there. Let's, uh... Whoop. No! <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is actually kind of tough, guys. Uh, I wasn't really expecting this. All right, so let's go down. Scoop this up. OK. 
Okay. Can I get kind of a better view here? Um, alright, so down. And up. No. Uh. No. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so now I think maybe I can do a little bit better. Okay, so this needs to come up. didn't do anything. Um, why is this not working? Interesting. See, now it seems to get stuck. Not really sure exactly what is happening here, but it's like all, the keys go dead for a second. And, okay, apparently switching back and forth does nothing. Um, hello. Okay. Let's back up just a tad. Okay, now we're now we'll try it. Um hmm. So I can't really do anything there. It's almost like the terrain is not being cooperative. Alright, let's back up a little bit. Okay. Okay, why can't I dig out? Why can't... Oh! Continue digging. Good work so far, yes. Because I definitely need more practice. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not sure what's really happening here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're getting a little bit better here. Maybe this will be an easier... Oh, come on. There we go. This is much harder than it looks. I'm actually kind of surprised. Like, I was going to... I was wholly expecting to... Uh, get in here and 
and it be like you know super easy and it's kind of not <laughs> uh, come on Am I stuck again okay Uh, I don't think I even got any dirt there, but oh, maybe a little bit. I want to continue digging because I want to maximize the experience points that my my little guy gets here. See why? Do I have to have the bucket op more open like this? I guess so. Okay, let's go like this. See, sometimes I can't dig, which is the problem. And, <laughs> and my hole's like caving in. Um, and here we have the issue of Um, all right, enter small excavator. Let's go and see what, uh, what's his face? Um, okay, I don't really know what to do. I don't know. First of all, let's get the, uh, the, the digger arm up out of here. Um, okay. Maybe I just need to reposition things a little bit. So let's go down. Oh, there we go. And then, nope, oh, other way. Okay, seems to be going slightly better now, maybe. Come on, I just want to dig a trench. We got a lot. We're going to spend like 45 minutes digging this silly trench. Okay, well, maybe you need to back up more. Oh. I think I got some dirt there. Or not. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is pretty hard, guys. I'm really kind of surprised. I guess in a pleasant way. It's going in. It's going in too far. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Wait. There we go. Come on, go up further. Why you no know go further? Uh. I can. That's weird. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. I went to sneeze and I hit my mute button and then there was, I had much confusion about whether or not I had, had muted this whole episode. So luckily I had not. <laughs> Otherwise I was going to be really angry with myself. Okay, so. Can I just scoop there? Bring it up. So what are we supposed to be digging this trench for again? Okay, I think we need to back up some more now. Okay. Open. No, down. There we go. Rawr. Let's try to get, there we go. Oh, I just noticed like over on the right side of the screen, I guess that shows how full our bucket is maybe. Maybe, I don't know what that is really. I'm thinking that that's how full our bucket is though. <laughs> no. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I keep uh <laughs> I keep using the backwards controls. Oh, I need a gamepad, guys. Dig this up, yeah. Continue digging. Do I want to continue digging? No. Very good, you're learning quickly. Now switch back to drive mode and clear the area around the pit so that something can happen. Uh, what's this? Oh, oh, this is our map. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, look at all this. That is awesome. Is this my house? Wall factory. Train station, vehicle dealer. But we are up in Wolfsheim. Man, look at this map. There's like all kinds of stuff. Whoa, that's awesome. All right, so we need to get this up out of the hole and um, switch to drive mode. And I am just going to, I don't know. Okay, let's drive forward. Don't drive into the hole. Okay. Come here to me. All right. You did great. Looks good. 
but we need the water pipes. I think a pallet should be enough. Okay, where do I get that? Take the truck and drive down to Old Heininger on the edge of town. That's our local construction materials dealer. I'll mark the store on the map. Speak to the seller and bring us a pallet of drainage pipes and tell him Pete said hello. All right. I'm already on my way. Actually, I'm not. To Heininger, Heininger on the edge of town to get drainage pipes. All right. Be sure to uncouple the small trailer before you drive off, and don't forget to retract the supporting legs. Uh, yay, stage finished. Oh, wow, look at, look at all the work I just did. Uh, <laughs> all right, so the truck is already decoupled, so I guess we just have to... Um, drive down to the uh, pipe supplier because we gotta lay some pipe like I almost wanna just drive around the map now hey what's that way down there oh gosh location discovered building materials dealer village at the the, uh, at the build, oh, gosh, I can't read today. At the building materials dealer, you can get most of the construction materials you need. Most of these are available on convenient Euro pallets, which will be loaded onto shelves for you to pick up after purchase. If you require a forklift or flatbed truck to load the goods, you can order one by using the dealer's menu. Okay. There you are. Park the truck somewhere here and talk to the employee. Okay. Um, well, all right. Oh, this is so, <laughs> this parking lot right here, these little pavers, this is so Germany, man. This is like bringing back memories. <laughs> uh, all right, so, hi, hi there. Uh, what do we need? Pipes, right? Drain pipes, yes. How many, did, how many did we need? <gasps> I don't remember. Um, transport 1x drain pipes. Okay. We only need the one. We need the one drain pipes. Okay. Well done. Now we have to rent a forklift to load the pallet. Speak to the... Oh, are you kidding? Okay. Equipment. Oh, rental vehicles, forklift. Oh. Um. In the loading area. Where is the loading area? Oh, it's pro I guess it's over there. Okay, let's drive our truck back there. Okay, and apparently we have to open the side panels, so I don't know how to do that. So let's look at the options, um, key assignments. Uh, what's going on here? Why? Okay. Don't. All right. Cool. All right, so those look like our pipes there. So let's jump out. Um, boy, it's kind of tough to see. Um... Is it going in? That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Okay, there we go. Still. OK. 
Okay, and oh gosh, oh no. Okay, we need to put this down. Yikes. <laughs> um, that's gonna suck if this falls off. Let's see if I can push it on. Okay, I can push it. Okay, good. Let's push it over this way. You probably wouldn't want to do this with real pipes because, you know, Stabby McStabberson, you're probably going to damage something and tick off your boss, but this is the virtual world where everything's all good. Alright, and we'll just, uh, we, alright, and we'll put the, the forks back down so nobody stabs their eyes out, which would be bad. All right, so why, why have you secured the load? If not, stand beside the flatbed. Oh, gosh, really? I need to secure the load. Um, attach cargo. Oh, okay, cool. Now we've secured the load. <clears throat> Hemi would be so proud. <laughs> so we have 50,150 cents I guess I don't know guys I'm having fun with this game so far um, I can't wait to see what I do with these pipes <gasps> oh my gosh Oh, yeah, there you are. Park the truck nearby, unfasten the load, and don't wreck into anybody. All right. Whoops. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> Detach the load. Cargo is detached, sir. And... What am I supposed to do now? Talk to Hape. Oh, there we go. Well done! Now we have to unload the pallet, then we can lay the pipes by hand. Oh, cool. The whole pallet is too heavy to lift, don't you think? My poor back. Don't worry, we'll use the excavator. At the tip of the shovel is a hook that we can hook the pallet to. Take a seat in the excavator and move the shovel above the pallet and hook, on, uh, hook it on. Come on, give it a try. Okay, I'll try. I already have some experience with the excavator, so this should work. Yeah. <laughs> Remember who you're talking to. Okay, so first of all, let's raise this up like so. Oh gosh, I'm gonna hit the. Okay. I think that's good enough. Um. Oh, there we go. Space. <gasps> cool. Oh gosh, okay. So we need to basically need to move the pallets over here, I guess, into the coned area. Oh, I am an expert, guys. Yay, ooh, look at that. 2,600 cents. Come over here to exp and I'll explain. Okay, all right. Oh, man, this is cool. <clears throat> you know, guys, this game is like, a tr so far it's a trillion times better than I was expecting. I really, I think this game's made by Astragon, and I was really not expecting it to be this fun. So far, I'm not kidding you guys, this game's fun. I like it. That went well. The pipes are unloaded and the boys can continue. While I'm returning the truck and the excavator to our compound, 
you could return the container over there to the gravel plant. Uh, but I'll need the deposit tipper for this, correct? The deposit tipper for this. Yes, it's waiting for you on the compound. If you don't want to walk, you can take a taxi. Use the button on the truck, or with the truck on the upper left, to select the de desired vehicle. This will transfer you directly to it. Okay, I'll try. If you have returned the container, we'll meet at our premises. Let's go. Okay, see you later. Um, transfer yourself into the deposit tipper truck by selecting it in the vehicle selection menu. Okay. I wonder if I can, uh, okay, there's a jackhammer. What's this thing? This is like one of those, like, vibrating flattener machines. Uh, what do I have to take back? I could take something back. Okay, well, anyway. Here's the truck. Deposit tipper. Okay. That's not a... Now get the container at the construction site and bring it to the gravel plant. What container? No! Can I turn on my headlights on this thing? I want there to be a... Oh, yes! Yes, look at this. It's like Euro Truck Simulator 2, but not quite as good, but still pretty darn good. Oh, this is awesome, guys. This game just keeps getting better and better. There you are. Park. I'll park the truck in the right position so you can unload it. Oh. All right, um, now it's your turn. Load the container with the boom. Um, uh, 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 like this maybe? Okay. Very good. Now drive the container to the gravel yard or something. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. I don't think it was really supposed to work like that, but whatevs. Wait. Oh gosh, there we go, there we are, all right, cool. Now I gotta go Euro truck again. Okay, so now we have to go to the gravel yard, which is where? Oh, look, we get to drive far, cool. So I guess it's out, out here somewhere, all right, cool. Can I look? Oh man, this is awesome, guys. The the interior textures aren't as good as Euro Truck, but um, <clears throat> so far I'm I'm very very pleased with how this game is turning out. You cannot drive faster. Okay. Um, actually, there is one thing I want to do. <clears throat> Full screen active, graphics quality very high. Okay, anti-aliasing. Okay, so everything's already set to very high. Cool. That's because it knows my computer is super awesome. Well, the mirrors work. That's good. They're kind of a little bit distorted in a weird kind of way, but um, I'll uh, I'll I'll live with it. Um, you can go ahead or not. Why can I not drive faster? Is 
Is there a reason I cannot drive faster? Oh, there we go. I guess it was I just didn't have the load all the way down on the truck. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm going about 60 kilometers an hour right now. I feel like I'm going 60 miles per hour right now. Okay, so, got to make a left turn here. Home base, nursery, sawmill, all right. Now, what is that over there? They're like greenhouses or something. I really like this map. This map is really, gives me the feeling like I'm over in Germany or some, you know, Austria or something like that. Good job, guys. Don't forget, if you want to pick this game up, uh, you can pick it up directly from the uh, Excalibur publishing website. Uh, I will have the link in the description, so uh, just pull up that, and uh, you can link directly for the direct download version. And uh, I don't have the pricing on it, because you'll have to go and check it out for yourself. But whatever the price is, so far it definitely seems worth it. Okay, so here is... I guess I'm going to have to come up onto the scale. Okay. So we have to... I'm going to jump out because I need to go over and see... Hello! And see about talking to this guy, maybe. Okay, or not. So what do I need to do? Drive deposit tipper to the destination. I'm guessing this is the destination. Unload. Oh, all I had to do is like. The gravel plant is a central meeting point. Here you can get loose bulk material of all kinds as well as ready mixed concrete to fill the concrete mixer. Furthermore, you can deposit excavated earth and construction waste here. The gravel plant covers a large area. The loading areas are marked in white, and the dumping areas are marked in yellow. You can also ask an employee on site if you require assistance. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that must be the dumping site right there, since that's in yellow. Uh, okay, so this has this picture of a container here. Well done. Retract the boom and drive to our compound. If you don't want to drive, use the transport function in the top left corner. You can use that to have your vehicles delivered, try it out and have your deposit tipper delivered to your company premises. I don't want to yet. I want to drive around and check out this map because this map is super awesome. I mean, look at all this stuff, guys. Look at it all. Um, all right, I am going to drive out of here. <clears throat> I'm going to drive out of here. And we are going to make a left. Since we came from that direction, we're going to make a left. And since I know how to transport my vehicles, I don't want to do that. I just want to explore the map a little bit. Man, I really feel like I'm cruising. 
Okay, now I can see the frame rate dropping a little bit. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. <clears throat> well, <laughs> it's great over there. Not so great when you're looking in towards the city here, though. I guess it's corn. I think maybe that's what's doing it. So if I look over this way, frame rate's fine. Look at the corn, frame rate goes to hell. <laughs> In a handbasket. Okay. Fuchsberg. No jokes, guys. No jokes. Okay, let's see where we are on the map. Ooh, what's this? Vehicle dealer? I'm going to go this way. We're going to get on the highway and go back up this way. That will be pretty cool, huh? Don't run the red light. Now the frame rate's still pretty bad in this direction, so... And I'm not running fraps, so I can't see what the uh, frame rate is. <clears throat> but I would be willing to bet that it's less than 20. About 20. Whoa. I wish there was a cruise control. That would be awesome. Oh, and look, they put up the dividers. These dividers are really common in Europe. It kind of, you know, separates the driver from the scenery. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I want to go straight. But we can, oh, man, we can look around like this. Whoa, there's like a whole city over there. That's pretty cool. Ah, we're crashing. We're a horrible driver. And now the frame rate's like freaking perfect. But back there it's not. Look this way it is though. Um, can I... Oh, that's to get off there. Osfart! <laughs> Oh, there's the ocean, or maybe a gigantic lake somewhere. Ah, uh, don't wreck. Oh, gosh. Vehicle's a little bit difficult to control here. There we go. This will probably be a lot easier to control from in here. Where is the Oculus Rift support? Yeah, see, there's like a castle up there on the hill. Alright, so I'm going to get off here. And is there a... I don't think there's a... Um, way to get up to the castle up there. I thought there might be. So we explored the map a little bit. Uh, we got our first day's job done, I think. Oh, there's another castle up there, too. Cool. Um, I want to put on a turn signal, but I don't think there are turn signals in the game. Well, there's turn signals on that truck. I wonder if uh, we have turn signals. Let's look at the options. 
horn flashing lights. Oh, uh, I don't know why the. Oh, left turn. Oh no, left turn. That's just left turn. Um. Yeah, I don't see the turn signal, so no biggie. Come on. Okay, speed limit is 70. Which is about right here. Hey, it's Neuschwanstein. No, it's not Neuschwanstein. Well, at least the brakes are nice and... Um, Nice and uh, stiff or, you know, effective, I guess. What's that place? What is that place? It looks like a... I don't know what it is. It looks like a construction site of some kind. Alright, so... I'm actually... Oh, speed limit's a lot less here. It's like 50. You know, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with this game so far. I I honestly was not expecting much. It's a game by... Uh, I think the main developer is Astragon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or no. No, it wasn't Astragon. It was... Uh, what, what was the name of the company? <laughs> I forgot already. Uh, Weltenbauer. Um, so yeah, it's being distributed not by Astragon, but by... Actually, I think in some countries it might be. I, I don't really know, but um, uh, I know for me uh, it's being distributed by Excalibur Publishing, and um, uh, you know, I, I really was not expecting this... I just wasn't expecting it to be this good. Um, definitely worth the money, uh, I would say, for sure. The graphics are good. Uh, a little bit of slowdown in the major city. That might be something that needs just needs some optimization. And, uh, and who knows? There you are. Where have you been? I don't know. I've been exploring this wonderful world. Okay, so I'm going to park this bad boy over here. All right. Um, all right. Well, let's see what this guy wants, and um, this will this might be the end of the day. Hi, Pete. I'm back. A day on the construction site is quite exhausting. Oh man, you have only learned the first machine. Oh wait, that was me talking. Hi, Pete. I'm back. A day on the construction site is quite exhausting. And old Pete's like, oh man, you. <laughs> You have only learned the first machines, but I think you understood the basics of the job. Now you can try. I gotta get the voice in here. Now you can try to do contracts on your own and start a real money. Or earn real money, I mean, to expand the company. Okay, that was horrible. <laughs> now, uh, see, now we can really get going. I'm really looking forward to this. Remember, if you have an active contract, the tasks are displayed on the right. If you click the icon in front of each task, I'll give you the brief instructions on what to do. You can also take a look at the contract's menu. From time to time, I'll contract you with news or other relevant information. I have some work to do now. See you later. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'd better get to work and take a look at the contract's menu. All right. Boom! Contracts. Um, let's see here. Jobs, revenues. Okay, so it looks like here we can take several different jobs or some, or maybe your first task. Oh no, stage one. Oh, maybe this is just what we get based on. Okay, so 100 XP. 
inexperienced apprentice. So we leveled up, unlock, King new construction area, village. Okay. Stage finish. We got 2,000 euros. All right, guys. Well, <gasps> stage finished. I don't know what we do. What do we do with our XP? Um, <gasps> check this out. Mansion with cobbled. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Container transport. All right. Special jobs. Tutorials. Hey, I don't have any tutorials. Architect missions. What in the world? Company. Single revenues. Single expenses. All right. Motor pool. So this is all of our equipment. The crew. Man, he's expensive. Bait free. Okay. Nothing in the warehouse. The map. Uh, so what is the train? Train station profile. XP level. Okay, so in a okay, unlocking new construction area village. From now on, one more contract will be offered. Good apprentice, you can hire a worker. Oh, okay. Holy Moses. Wow, we got a ways to go, guys. But um Definitely, definitely cool. I'm, I'm really liking this so far. I, I honestly, I kind of thought this was going to be an exercise of pain because, um, I mean, come on, construction simulator, how good can it be? This is actually, oh my god, I can even jump. I can jump. Yeah, buddy, yee-haw, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. The game seems... Uh, you know, pretty stable. I just, I had the one crash at the beginning. I don't know what that was about. Sometimes games just do that the first time you launch them. Ah, I had to take a swig of water there. Um, but yeah, it's this is really cool. I'm looking forward to uh, delving into this a lot more. And I was kind of, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of scared to jump into this this morning. I got up and... And uh, I was just like, oh, man, do I have to do this Let's Play? And now it's like I want to go. It's like, heck with all my other games. I want to play this one now. So <laughs> so that's actually a good problem to have. Um, again, like I said before, uh, check, uh, check it out uh, from Excalibur Publishing. It's uh, Construction Simulator 2015. I got the link down in the video description. So be sure to click that. If you found this uh, this video insightful uh, or if you liked watching please hit that uh, like button and share uh, just helps me out uh, tremendously helps me grow my channel as well and um, if you haven't already please comment and uh, also subscribe for this and many more videos guys I'm Brad M73 thank you thank you thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next episode of construction simulator 2015 <laughs> bye for now guys